major reason that Taiwan ends up in the news these days is because of its relationship with China, which, to put it mildly, is fraught. 曾获得艾美奖的美国知名脱口秀上周今夜秀第一次提及台海局势，用二十二分钟介绍台湾。一开头，主持人 John Oliver 就先用南星称台湾为国家被道歉来举例。对不起，我很抱歉，很爱，很尊重中国跟中国人。It's weird John Cena apologized to China. It's weird he did it for calling Taiwan a country, and it's weird to see him do it in pretty decent Mandarin. 还有汤姆克鲁斯外套上的台湾国旗被消失，国际舞台上也不见台湾。If their official Olympics name really was Chinese Taipei, <laughs> that would at least be a little more accurate vis-a-vis who. 处处都能看到中国对台湾的打压。Oliver 也介绍台湾与中国的历史，以及至今美国都以战略模糊政策，从未承诺保卫台湾。And what does that even mean? Does it mean the U.S. would deploy military assets, or just that the U.S. general would slightly raise an eyebrow? No one really knows. 虽然以幽默方式带过严肃议题，但的确点出美中台之间的关系实在模糊。So far, we've been talking about Taiwan almost exclusively in terms of what other countries want from it. But the key question is clearly, what does it want for itself? But even that is not easy to answer. John Oliver 说，民调显示，大部分台湾人还是希望维持现状，而总统蔡英文也明讲，台湾是独立的国家。Fact is. Taiwan is not a plucky bulwark against the red menace, nor is it some sort of island-sized Viagra to rejuvenate the Chinese nation. 节目尾声，主持人感性地说，台湾有两千三百万人口，建立了一个自由民主的社会，应该有权利决定自己的未来。即使是国会丢内脏，也是民主的一环。德顺、朱朝伟另外一报道。